Hello, we will be going over some of the basic setup features for the Autometer Data Pro software. The first thing you want to do after downloading your software will be to authorize your unit. There is a tag number and a pin code located on the jewel case that the software was sent in. This is done by going to File, Authorization, clicking on the New button. Now here you can either enter your tag number or you can power your drag logger or drag logger dash unit up, connect your canned USB, and hit the get tag icon. Here you will enter your pin code. There is no need to hit the tab button as it will automatically go into the next box. When you're done entering your tag number and pin code, hit authorize. The next thing you will want to do is you will want to go into your run data and download manager to add your vehicle. This is done by going to add vehicle, type in your name, select your tag number here, and then hitting the OK button. And as you can see, it came up under here as our, our vehicle and the tag number. The nice part about this is if you have two different vehicles, when you actually connect your PC to your unit, it will verify the unique tag number for each one and download it into the correct uh, vehicle and folder. Also here, if you would like to add any new tracks or you know which tracks you're going to go through throughout the year, you can add all of your new tracks here. And then hit OK. To download a run, you would go to Recorder. Now most people will want to download and erase the memory from the unit itself. If you want to save it, you're more than welcome to save it here. We will download and erase. Here you will find your track name, which if you will automatically default to the last track that was downloaded. So if you begin a weekend, you can put the track in once and it'll keep defaulting to that particular track until you change it. If you want to change it, all you need to do is hit the change button here and go to your tracks. download the run all you do is hit the start button it'll come up with your particular logbook it's very important that you enter the logbook information into this because this will track how where you are on the track itself As soon as you are done, the unit will automatically pop up and show you the run that was just made. To look at different runs, you want to hit this left button, excuse me, right button here. It'll select your current run. If you tick on that, it'll bring up all the different tracks that you have. You can label these however you want to. If you want to put them all in the same folder for each individual track, you can do that. Every time that you download it, it'll give you a run number, the date that the run was made, how long the recording was, and if you enter your information, the time of the pass. What this will allow you to do is it'll automatically renumber the run every time that you downloaded each individual folder and subfolder. So as you can see here at my 08 National, unfortunately in India, I only made three runs.
the importance of putting in the time slip when you are done as you can see here at the bottom it'll mark zero at 1g but it'll also tell you the exact feet you were on the track itself as you can see the time is 7.595 I'm at 843 feet to overlay runs you would use the compare mode which is the equal sign on the top you would click that and your reference run will come up as you can see here there are two different reference runs two runs also over here by hitting the unlock button I can bring this out it'll have my two runs here values and then the difference over here which is a very nice feature a few other things that you can do if you go to file excuse me run data and global properties this will allow you to go to options will allow you down here to see how much of the run if you have a eight second car you probably want to see nine seconds after zero and a second before so here you can go in and change exactly what you want to see. If you want to look at different channels on each individual one, you come up here, hit the unlock button. You right click over in the grade area here, and this will allow you to pick your different channels. You can also right click down where the actual numerals are at and this will allow you to also set your axis settings as far as how high you want to go also your channel selection can be made in here your line styles which is the width of the line itself and your font. Also down here you can set your channel filters, colors, units, and decimal points. You go to the channel settings here and this will allow you to put your decimals in if you want to smooth it and what color the line is. This also can be done under Run Data and Global Properties. Now after you make all of your changes to this, you want to make sure that you save your changes, which is up here. It will ask you the name that you want to change, save it to, and you just hit OK. Also, if you would like to look at the data while the vehicle is running, you can hook your CAN to USB converter up to the unit and to your PC and go to Recorder and go to Data Monitor. This will allow you to look at everything that you have on the unit itself in real time. In another video, we will cover more in depth of the unique features of this system. Thank you.